Hello, everyone. I'm Cherie Dotson, Student Affairs Program Manager for Recruitment and Outreach in the University of Michigan College of Pharmacy. And I'd like to welcome you to our webinar that's focused on a discussion of our Masters of Science in Integrated Pharmaceutical Sciences. Today, Dr. Gregory Emadon, our Program Coordinator and Research, Associ and Research Professor of Pharmaceutical Sciences will be here to present information to you about our MSIPS program. I will now turn it over to Dr. Amadon. Great. Uh, Cherie, thank you very much. It's my pleasure to be able to share with you uh, some details about our Master of Science in Integrated Pharmaceutical Sciences program that the University of Michigan College of Pharmacy uh, offers. Um, sometimes we refer to this as MSIPS or MSIPS program, um, and we're very excited to share it with you today. Uh, this is a relatively new program. We are now uh, entering our sixth year, sixth year uh, second year um, uh, in the program. And uh, um, along with Cherie, uh, you can certainly contact others. If you have questions, um, Antoinette Hopper and, and Mark Nelson are others that are certainly very engaged in this program as well. But let me share with you um, some information that may be helpful to you as you think about uh, future opportunities for yourself and how you might see yourself uh, pursuing your, your career goals. And maybe uh, the MS IPS program will meet uh, your needs. So the goal of the program really is to provide students with a broad range of opportunities to enhance and integrate their understanding of the drug discovery process drug delivery, and clinical pharmacy. And these all tie into the overall process of really uh, identifying a drug molecule uh, to, to bringing it to market, to uh, utilizing this in a clinical setting. And students in the MSIPS program have an, an opportunity to select from a very broad range of graduate courses that are offered in the College of Pharmacy uh, and across the university. And so we see this program as a very flexible program for students that are interested in expanding their understanding of uh, these uh, disciplines of discovery, delivery, and clinical pharmacy and applications. Uh, so in terms of how MSIPS might advance your education, uh, we can think of it in, in the following way. Um, we have within the College of Pharmacy three uh, departments. We have the medicinal chemistry department, uh, pharmaceutical sciences department that I'm in, uh, we, and we have clinical pharmacy and translational sciences department. Uh, pharmacy is really sort of the professional aspect of all of this uh, for uh, uh, our students who are in our professional program that want to be practicing uh, pharmacists. In terms of research, it's uh, housed primarily in medicinal chemistry department, uh, uh, pharmaceutical sciences department, or the clinical pharmacy and translational sciences uh, area. You can see along here, we talk about the stages, and these are the stages of drug discovery, development, uh, and, and application that I mentioned a little bit earlier. Uh, this is kind of a, a typical way of defining this whole drug discovery uh, process. Uh, but within each of these departments, for example, uh, in medicinal chemistry, uh, we have uh, faculty and students that are studying uh, traditional medicinal chemistry synthesis, for example, um, but that integrates in pharmacology. We have faculty that are experts in molecular modeling uh, and early safety assessment. Um, within pharmaceutical sciences, um, most of pharmaceutical sciences focuses on drug delivery. Um, and that includes how you go about processing and developing, manufacturing a, a pharmaceutical product, <clears throat> and maybe even at a molecular level, how you deliver a drug to, for example, a cancer cell. That's a drug delivery uh, issue. Um, within uh, the practice of pharmacy, obviously there's the medication use, evaluation, um, uh, and assessment of clinical outcomes that our pharmacy graduates do and, and some of our faculty, clinical faculty. In terms of clinical pharmacy translational uh, science department, the focus there is, uh, for example, biomarker understanding uh, precision medicine, uh, health informatics. And so within these three departments, um, we cover 
um, a broad range of research and application uh, across the discovery, development, uh, patient use, and, and, and optimization of therapy uh, spectrum. So as a student in this program, you have an opportunity to explore courses and work with faculty um, in any one or more of these areas. We see this as integrated in that a student who uh, enters this program can pick and choose courses from all of these uh, areas uh, to build their program their, uh, and individualize it for, for their interests. So who might be interested in this? Um, I think maybe from the previous slides, you already get the idea, but uh, certainly individuals who are interested in obtaining their uh, advanced coursework and uh, an understanding of the processes of drug discovery, delivery, pharmaceutical development, and the application of therapeutics uh, to, to treat illnesses and diseases. Um, in terms of backgrounds that uh, really match with uh, the science that's done in the College of Pharmacy and in these areas. Um, students or graduates with backgrounds in biology, chemistry, physics, biochemistry, and you can see the list here, pharmacology, pharmaceutical sciences, engineering, even public health, business, kinesiology, nursing, all can uh, match um, the backgrounds that uh, could make them successful in, in this program. So again, flexible, not only in the coursework to take, but I think so also flexible in terms of the background uh, that uh, you could come into the program with. I will say that everything that we do is uh, very science focused. And so a strong background in science in one of these areas or, or more uh, really helps to um, assure success in, in the coursework that uh, a student like you might be taking. In terms of career options, um, one of the reasons that I'm excited about this and we were uh, in, the, in the college to develop this is that we could see a, a wide range of career options for, for those of you that graduate from this program. Um, certainly, uh, careers in the pharmaceutical industry and research and development, or even manufacturing, certainly clinical development, project management, regulatory sciences. Those are all aspects that go on every day in a, a pharmaceutical company to discover and, and bring product, uh, products to market. And this, this, the background that you can get from the MSIPS program really matches, I think, the needs and the the science that is helpful to be successful in, uh, in job in industry. Certainly working also in government or regulatory sciences space, um, the Food and Drug Administration would be an example of where a science background of this sort uh, really would, um, would be a, a solid foundation for a career in, in, in government or, or regulatory science. We certainly can see and have seen students in the program who are interested in getting the science background, but then maybe moving into business or law or potentially even you know, public health. Uh, this uh, program can also certainly uh, be helpful if you're thinking about continuing your education at some point in a research-oriented PhD program, such as the departments that we have at Michigan, I've mentioned already, and obviously across the university and across the, the country and, and world in terms of uh, continuing uh, education. Um, finally, I'll say that the, the background that one can get from the MSIPS program, we feel really can be beneficial for students who are interested in, in ultimately moving into medicine or dentistry or public health, veterinary medicine, any really health science uh, area. So the program, the program is a full-time 12 month residential non-thesis program. I put the asterisk there uh, because we are in the middle of uh, the, the 2020 uh, COVID-19 uh, pandemic and much of our coursework has been online and by distance uh, by necessity. We certainly hope and expect that that will change in, in the future and we'll be back to uh, a much more of a, a typical residential 
uh, university and residential re uh, uh, education program for the MSIPS program. Uh, it's a non-thesis program, um, and, but we do have a capstone project that gives uh, students an opportunity to explore a research area, and I'll touch on that. Um, but in the fall and winter semesters, um, that's when students that do enter the program will take uh, their, most of their coursework, if not all of it. The requirement is for 24 credit hours of, of classes. Um, and a majority of those need for, to be from the College of Pharmacy. Um, it includes an ethics course, a, a seminar, and capstone proposal uh, uh, project um, uh, course as well. Um, and uh, the option for eight additional credits of, of graduate level courses that can be taken from the College of Pharmacy or across the university. So a, tw a total of 24 credit hours. That's approximately maybe four courses per semester, just to give you an, an idea. Uh, in terms of the capstone project, uh, that's a full-time spring, summer, semester activity. Um, and so students will come in in the fall, uh, continue their education in the winter, and then be prepared for a full-time research project that is done uh, during the spring summer uh, semester at, at, at Michigan. The capstone project is done under the guidance of a College of Pharmacy faculty member. Uh, the projects completed in those 14 weeks, roughly the May through August uh, months uh, in the spring summer semester. And the project really can be laboratory based research uh, or it can be a literature uh, synthesis. Uh, many students are interested in laboratory-based research and, and in future years, uh, maybe even this coming summer. Uh, we hope to be able to get uh, those students that are interested in the master's program in the laboratory for the summer um, to, to carry out their research. It does not have to be uh, in the laboratory though, I'll say it certainly can be more of a literature review and a review article preparation for publication as, as, as examples. Students will give an oral presentation at the end of their capstone project of 20 minutes in length. And there's a written report that's required 20 to 30 pages that could be um, a report. It could be a draft of a paper or a manuscript for, that would be suitable for, for publication. So here's the timeline. Um, and we'll touch on some of these things a little bit more uh, on, in terms of application, for example, but the application deadline is February 1st. And we typically uh, notify students uh, if they're admitted to the program uh, in, in March. Um, the fall semester is primarily coursework and beginning to explore capstone project ideas uh, with faculty. Um, in the winter, another primarily coursework, uh, four to five graduate courses, um, and with the, the goal ultimately of identifying a College of Pharmacy faculty mentor uh, and uh, writing up a, a capstone research proposal um, so that during that spring summer semester, uh, the students can hit the ground running, so to speak, and, and carry out that research. I won't go all through all of this. Uh, you can find this on the website if you're interested in example uh, course options. I have one that focuses more on drug discovery area, uh, which captures maybe more of the medicinal chemistry part. Uh, drug delivery that captures more of the pharmaceutical sciences uh, courses and the clinical pharmacy uh, focus that captures more of that clinical pharmacy and translational sciences uh, aspects. Um, but again, the program is very flexible and uh, every student has the opportunity to pick and choose uh, the courses that they're interested in. And you can find more information on these and these examples uh, on, on the website. So with that, I think I, I've kind of covered all of uh, what I wanted to cover in terms of providing you a little bit of background about the MS IPS program. At this point, I'm going to turn it back to Cherie and she can touch on um, aspects of the admissions process. So, uh, Cherie? Yep, thank you, Greg. 
So um, the details regarding our admissions process are outlined um, on our website, but I'm gonna hit on a few um, points for you in this presentation. Um, number one, all of the applications are, in, are, are done online um, through our Rackham School of Graduate Study. And that application will require three letters of recommendation, a statement of purpose and a personal statement. And I do wanna note that the application fee is waived for students that are um, US citizens or permanent residents. Um, with regard to requirements, all students must um, hold a US bachelor's degree or equivalent um, and must have a minimum GPA of a 2.8 or higher. Um, we don't require the GRE exam um, for admission, but we do require um, the TOEFL or any of the English proficient, proficiency tests that are listed below if English is not the first language. Um, and again, as um, Dr. Amadon mentioned, the application deadline um, is February the 1st. So with that, we will um, share these points of contact with you. If you have any questions about the program, um, feel free to contact any one of us. Um, the information is also available on our website if you'd like to, to do any more, um, if you'd like to look for any further information there. But we are certainly available to answer any questions that you have at any time. So just please feel free to contact us. And with that, we will say thank you for your attention. All right, great, thank you. Thank you.